all right friends welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel and library application and in this video i'm going to show you how we can export these selected records to an excel file using liveware laravel and then laravel excel package so before we start let me give you the demo of what we're going to build on this video so that you will have some idea so over here we can either select all these records or we can select specific records and then perform bulk actions and on that bulk actions i have added new options for exporting those records to an excel file so let me select all the these records here 10 appointments got selected and over here i can perform the export let me click that and it got exported to excel file so let me open this file and those records got exported and we haven't refreshed the page anymore and this is all possible because of liveware also let me show you one more thing we can go to closed appointments we can select these appointments or we can select a specific appointment let's say let's select these four appointments and then let's perform bulk access and then export and those records got exported let me open this one more time and it got exported and you see here we have added headings as well and here we are referencing another table and displaying the client name see how cool this is so now let's start building this functionality so first let's start by fixing this gap over here and then adding link over here for export so let me go to list appointments.blade.psv file list appointments.blade.psv and then over here let me go to the end let me indent it over here let's do the style of and the width of 10 pixels let me save it refresh it and it got fixed somehow but it is not properly aligned so to fix that i see this margin left over here so let me remove it from there okay looks good so let me select this over here and then let me add menu for export so to do that let me go to the top let me copy this and then name is export okay and while clicking that link we'll be calling the export method on our component class okay so now let's create this method called export on our component class so let me go over list appointments component class and over here let me create that method call export and then let's do die and dump here let me refresh it select this and then click on export and we call that method perfect so now let's start by installing this package we can export data to an excel file using various ways and we can either export using javascript we can either export using psv function or we can either use uh, the package and the most popular one is called laravel excel so we'll be using this package and let me go to the installation and over here let me copy this one and then let me open the terminal paste it okay it got installed and using this package we can create and export class using psp audition make export and the name of the class let's give it a name called appointments export okay and the file got created and it will be inside of app and then exports and we have this class so to show you let me do some simple steps to start so over here let me go to exports and then five minute quick start and on collection methods let's return all of the appointments okay so we can do return appointment all and then we imported this model and then we can simply export using this line of code so let me copy this from here let me go back list appointments and over here let's return this 
and now we need to import this class let me import it and instead of user exports we need to pass appointments export okay and the name of the file is appointments let me save it let me go back to the browser and let me select these items bulk actions and then export and it got exported let me open this up and it got exported but it actually do not help us we have different data that we don't need and we don't have headings and actually we didn't exported those data that got selected we exported everything from the appointments right so we need to fix that okay so now first of all let's start by exporting those data that we got selected over here we don't want to export everything right so let's do that first so let me go to list appointments and on export method let's do die and do this selected rows right we have selected rows if we do bulk actions and then export we will get those rows ids right so we need to pass those arrays to our class called appointments export right so over here let's create a constructor so that we can receive those values so let me create a constructor and then we will be receiving selected rows and then let's do this selected rows goes to selected rows and let's create that protected property called selected rows okay over here let's do dd this selected rows and then let me go back to list appointments and how we can pass this selected rows so to pass the selected rows we can simply do written and then new appointments export and we can pass this selected rows right let me remove it from here and then let me remove this one as well and then let me try this export and we successfully passed those values right so if we go back to appointments export we have those data available so over here we are returning the collections and we are doing appointments all they simply work if we have few records on our database if we do appointments all on lots of data, then we will run out of memory. So instead of doing appointments all, we need to return query builder instance instead of collections so that Laravel Excel will do chunk for us. So let's do that. Let me remove this. Okay, so we need to create a method called query and then over here we need to return appointment and then where where in id is this selected rows right and we don't need from collections instead of from collections we'll be doing from query and then let me remove this and it got automatically imported over here okay so now let me save this and let me try this let me do export and we don't see any output because we haven't called the download method right so we need to call that download method from list appointments and then over here we need to call that method for download okay now let me try this i expect to see one issue again and we see that issue call undefined method so we need to use one trait in appointments export and the trait name is exportable we need to use exportable and it got imported as well so now let me try one more time export and we see another issue because we need to pass the name of the file so we forgot that now the file name will be appointments dot okay so let me try again 
and it got exported let me open this up and we have three records right but we are also getting those data that we don't need and then instead of client name we are getting client id right we need to fix that as well so first of all let's remove those unnecessary data so to do that we need to add a method called map on our export class so let me go to appointments exports and over here we need to create a method called map we'll be receiving the appointment and we can return array with this data we need to pass appointment id we need appointment client id for now let's just use client id and then appointment date appointment time and then appointment status right so now let me save this one and to use map we need to implement with mapping right don't forget to implement that otherwise it will not work with mapping and it got imported here as well so now let me refresh it select this and export and it is saying that it should be compatible and written array so to fix this here we need to return as array okay now let me save it let me try it again and it got exported let me open this file and we got those values right and we don't see those extra fields which is perfect and over here instead of client name we are just displaying client id so let's fix this as well so to fix this instead of client id let's call the relations call client and through client we will be getting name right and to fix n plus one problem let's eager load the client using with client and we don't need every field so let's do id and then name only okay let me save it let me go back to browser and then export it got exported let me open this and we see the name which is perfect now the final thing remaining is to add headings over here because this data is still useless right we don't see the heading so we need to add a heading as well so to add that heading we need to add a method called heading right so let's add that method as well so let's add a method called headings headings right and over here we can return a name and the name is first name is id the second one is client name and the third one is date fourth is time and the fifth is status right and the return type is array okay we save this go back to browser export let me open this and we don't see the headings right so actually we forgot to implement with headings over here so don't forget to implement that with headings and we implemented this and then this got imported over here as well so now let's try one more time export open and we see the heading which is perfect so let me try one more by selecting these two only and then let me do export and let me open this and those got exported see how cool this is let me change paginate value and then export more data so instead of paginate 3 let's do paginate 10 refresh it and over here let me select every records and 10 appointments got selected and let me do export and it got exported let me open this 
and those data got exported see how cool this is so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this and till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one Thank you.